It's training camp at the NFL once again, and all the big names in the league are gearing up to train in preparation for the upcoming season. And this all means that the time is also ripe for disgruntled players and teams to ditch each other. And some of them have even begun talks with other teams. In today's video, we'll be looking at NFL's biggest trade rumors that you need to know about. The Steelers might trade James Washington. The Pittsburgh Steelers have had a great preseason, scoring a 16-3 win over the Dallas Cowboys in the annual Hall of Fame games. But it seems one player in particular isn't happy there. Steelers receiver James Washington has been rumored to have requested a trade from Pittsburgh. Washington's performance with Steelers was off to a great start, with him recording 735 receiving yards in 2019, the highest in the team. Sadly, that number reduced drastically as he only recorded 392 yards in the 2020 regular season. However, this change in performance can't be chalked up to bad play, but simply reduced playtime, which affected his targets. Needless to say, the receiver isn't happy about being benched and simply can't take it anymore. According to ESPN's Adam Schefter, Steelers W.R. James Washington, a former 2018 second round pick, has approached the Steelers and requested a trade based on his limited playtime last season, and so far this preseason per source. Washington, who is almost at the end of his three-year rookie contract with the Steelers, reportedly can't wait to leave as he has put in an official request to be traded. The Steelers have yet to release an official statement about whether they will grant Washington's request or the team they wish to trade him with, but we'll just have to wait and see. The Patriots might trade Sony Mitchell to the Rams. The New England Patriots have a crowded backfield filled with rookies and a few pro players, so it's little wonder that reports have it that they might be trading a player or two. Ramondre Stevenson, Damian Harris, and Sony Mitchell Mitchell are all running backs with the Patriots, and one of them might be traded before the season starts. Ramondre Stevenson, a fourth round pick, was put on the NFL's non-football injury list just before the team's training camp in preparation for the preseason games. It's unclear what injury or illness the six-foot player is battling, but it was just enough to sideline him. He has since retired to camp and is making great strides in training. Damian Harris has had to miss some games due to a broken finger, but he's poised to bounce back. And with Patriots manager Bill Belichick singing Harris's praises to the press, it's unlikely that he will be traded off anytime soon. That leaves us Sony Mitchell. The pro running back has the most impressive yard record of the three, but he has also been with Patriots longer. Reports have it that the Patriots might trade Michael for a fifth or sixth round pick to the LA Rams. Houston will trade Deshaun Watson. It appears Houston is finally ready to trade star quarterback Deshaun Watson. After the host lawsuits the player faces. Houston originally maintained a stance behind its star quarterback, not willing to even consider a trade. But things have taken a turn for the worse, and the team is finally entertaining trade offers. This comes after the lawsuits against Watson took a new turn for the worse, as more women came forth with sexual assault charges. Watson's lawyer spoke to ESPN regarding the case, stating that 10 more women have complained to the Houston Police Department that the quarterback sexually assaulted them. This is in addition to the previous 22 women that filed lawsuits against the quarterback alleging inappropriate sexual advances during massage sessions. General Manager Nick Casario hasn't made an official statement regarding the trade, but we anticipate he won't trade Watson for anything less than what he's worth, regardless of his legal circumstances. Philadelphia Eagles will trade Zach Ertz. Rumors of the Eagles trading Ertz have been making rounds in the news for months after his less than expected 2020 season. The Pro Bowl champion finished last season with 36 catches for 335 yards and a single touchdown. A disappointing season for the 30-year-old veteran. The tight end had over 75 catches and 850 yards for each season from 2015 through 2019, and was a key player in helping the Eagles win the 2017 Super Bowl. But an ankle injury slowed him down last season, and he expressed a desire to leave the Eagles after eight seasons with the team. ESPN's Jeremy Fowler reported that over three teams have expressed interest in Ertz, but Philadelphia has refused to cut back on his $8.5 million 2021 salary, looking to save some funds on the team's salary cap. Ertz showed up to the Eagles' preseason training camp in top shape, but analysts have it that he is still interested in a trade and the camp appearance is just business and nothing more. The tight end is in the final year of his contract with the Eagles and is reportedly open to a trade even before his contract is 
up. Coach Roseman is reportedly yet to receive a deal he likes from tight end needy teams, meaning Ertz might have to wait out his contract. Miami Dolphins might trade Xavier Howard. Despite being considered a middle-of-the-pack type of team, the Miami Dolphins still have some drama of their own. The Dolphins' star cornerback Xavier Howard has made his desire to be traded known to his team and the rest of the world. The 28-year-old player had the best season of his career in 2020, with a record-breaking 191 tackles, 55 pass deflections, and 22 interceptions. It's safe to say he has made his mark on the Dolphins' greatest cornerback list, but the six-foot-one player appears to be discounted with his team, stating he feels unappreciated and undervalued, hence his decision to request a trade. According to Howard, after signing an extension on his deal with Dolphins in 2018, the cornerback feels he has significantly outperformed the deal and demanded it be improved. Howard went on to state that he approached the Dolphins' management demanding on an improvement to his deal, which would increase his salary, but the Dolphins declined the entire proposal. Howard has made his desire to be traded public, but still made it to the team's training camp like a professional. It's unclear if the Dolphins will trade the cornerback or agree to his demands. Nikhil Harry to be traded. Considering the fact that he was the New England Patriots' first round draft pick in 2019 with a promising pro career, Harry has had a disappointing stay with the Patriots, appearing in just 21 games in his entire NFL career and missing major games due to injuries in both seasons with the team, has left his record looking unimpressive to say the least. The 23-year-old wide receiver has 45 receptions spanning 414 yards, including four touchdowns, on 81 targets in his professional career. Having such a poor performance, the first two seasons of his pro career have left many speculating that there could be a trade anytime soon. Harry's agent, Tamal Tucson, gave some truth to the rumors when he officially requested a trade on his client's behalf. New England Patriots management is yet to comment on the details of the trade. The team is yet to reveal whether they will accept the request or insist that he finishes the remainder of his four-year contract. The wide receiver still has two years left on his deal with the Patriots, with an option for a third. Even with trade rumors spiraling around and official requests being made, Harry still participated in the Patriots training camp exercise in preparation for the preseason. Stephen Gilmore might join the Los Angeles Rams. Stephen Gilmore has had a less than desirable time with the New England Patriots in terms of his deal and salary. The star cornerback was taking in $16 million in salary as per his original deal with Patriots, making him the highest paid player on the team. But the Patriots have been on a rampage in terms of player salaries and contract restructuring over the last three years, and this has drastically affected the cornerback salary. With all the contract restructuring the Patriots have done, Gilmore is set to make a meager $7 million in the 2021 season, less than half his original pay. Now entering the final year of his contract with the Patriots, Gilmore intends to cash out once again, but the team's management just isn't having it. While it's yet to be revealed how the issue will be resolved, other teams in the league are willing to up his pay to have him come play for them. Rumor has it that the Los Angeles Rams have expressed interest in the star cornerback and have reached out to the Patriots to trade him. It is still yet to be finalized if the Patriots will let Gilmore go or make him write out his contract with them, but one thing is for certain, Gilmore will not be staying with the team unless there is a serious salary upgrade. The Eagles could land Deshaun Watson. The Deshaun Watson debacle is one of the situations that ruin careers and break teams. The numerous lawsuits filed against the Texan quarterback keep rising as more allegations and accusations come to light. Though the Texan is seemingly ready to accommodate talks for possible trades, the next question is, who would want Watson now? With his career on a steady slump as the days roll by, his valuation tank is not left out as well. However, it appears that one team is ready to risk its image trading for the quarterback. The Philadelphia Eagles are rumored to be in talks to trade the quarterback, and they are the biggest contenders as well. In all honesty, Watson's stats as an efficient touchdown machine hasn't been dampened by his legal troubles, and the Eagles know that. Yes, his image has been tarnished, but his rank as the top quarterback of the previous year still stands, and the Eagles are betting his prowess on the field will overshadow his legal troubles. There you have it, guys. All you need to know about NFL's biggest trade rumors.